What's up, guys? Welcome to FragThePlanet.com. I'm Mark the Shark 2K. I've got another headset review for you in my search to find the ultimate headset for Escape from Tarkov. And I did find them. I eventually found the perfect headset for Escape from Tarkov because it's very important to hear footsteps in that game. The bass, not as important. It's not a really cinematic game. It is a looter shooter and you need to be sneaky and you need to hear everything that's going on and these have been the absolute perfect well let's just say they're like a 9.9 .9 out of 10 there's two things about them I really don't like so these are the Sennheiser game ones right now they are $124 from Amazon they have a 15 to 28,000 Hertz response range they weigh 300 grams. They have a volume knob on the headset. And one of the issues that I have with the volume knob is when you put it all the way to the lowest point, it doesn't quite it doesn't say zero on here, but when you turn it all the way down, you can still hear stuff. So I don't know why they don't have it actually like turn off all the volume to the headset but it doesn't it keeps it at like a low volume it's really strange this headset is an open back design you can see it has vents on the side so you can very clearly hear other people in the room speaking so if that's important um, to you that you need that if you're in a loud space you might not want to use these because the sound from outside the environment will go right in through the headset but if you're in like a quiet area, these are awesome. The open the open back design actually gives you like a a bigger sound stage. It makes you I don't know it makes it makes the area that you're in in the game feel like it's larger because the sound isn't like bouncing off the inside of the ear cup and just hitting you right in the ear. I actually think it's a little bit more um, relaxing on my ear. Sometimes I will get uh, ear fatigue. I think is what it's called with the closed back design headphones because the bass and all that stuff just like constantly thumping on your ear and there's like no way for the pressure to escape that's why I really I, I prefer an open back set um, the material on the ear cups is like uh, it's like a really nice soft velour <laughs> it's super soft it doesn't make a lot of noise when you shift around um, one of the things I really don't like is when some headsets have a certain kind of material they use and if it rubs on your shirt or your collar, it can reverberate back up into the headset. It does not do that with these. These are super comfortable. There's enough room so my ear isn't hitting the inside of the cup, which uh, is something else that can really tends to hurt my ears, but these have enough room. They don't really twist, so you can't you can't lay these flat on your chest if you put them down around your neck you can't lay them flat so keep that in mind uh, the cable does come out and it is like it's a mini it's a mini jack I don't know if you can see that here let me put it up against another regular jack see that it's a mini three pole what would that be a two and I think that's a two and a half millimeter and this would be a three three and a half millimeter so keep that in mind but you can use your own your own uh, cables if you have them so theirs goes from a mini into a into a regular and this goes into a four pole so this would work with something like an Astro A40 or A50 uh, little receiver or um, cell phones use the four pole because that this transmits the headphones but also the microphone over one cable they give you another breakout cable that has the two the green and the pink that go into your sound card or if you have another device that takes you know the two three and a half millimeter jacks and it has the small jack that plugs into the headset so they give you the two cables. They don't give you any manuals. Nothing else comes in the box. You just get this black box and you get the the cover that goes on it. 
So, but these headphones have been just perfect. I love them. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook these up real quick and do a mic test for you. And I won't be doing any processing or anything. I'm just gonna plug it in and start using the mic and we'll go ahead and hear how it sounds. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my USB microphone right now and I'm gonna to switch to the headset mic on the Sennheiser Game Ones. Testing. Okay, now I'm using the microphone on the Sennheiser Game One headset. Test one, two, three, four, five, six. Unique New York. Unique New York. I'm not doing any processing. Uh, I don't have any boost turned on the microphone. I do have the microphone level all the way up to 100 in Windows. So keep that in mind, but um, this is how the microphone sounds. All right, I'm going to go ahead and go back to using my USB microphone to finish out the review. Okay. On the headset, to mute the mic, all you do is fold it up. I don't know if you can hear it. Hear that click? So when you put it up, when you put the microphone up, it's going to go ahead and mute, which is kind of nice because then you don't have to worry about dealing with um, buttons and whatnot. The only thing that worries me is that that might fail at some point, and this microphone is not modular. So once that microphone goes, you're probably going to have to either send it in for repair or get get a new headset. All right, so these are 124 from Amazon. I'm going to go ahead and put a link in the description. And I uh, hope this review helped you decide if you like them or not. All right, thanks.